Hello everybody. Hey, I was going to make a quick video today about uh, some shooting shooting uh, drills that I'm working on. And I, uh, squirrels raising sand back there. And anyway, I, if anybody who's followed my videos for the last year or so knows that I really struggle with target panic. Not hitting anchor and just, just bad form altogether. I managed to take animals because I hunt so close. But, um, and I have a, a, a drill I've been working on. I read about it in a book that Donnie Wilkerson gave me. And uh, I forget the name of the book now. But in, it's, deal, it's uh, dealing with longbows. And, and the drill is, is a, um, a three-second drill. It's where you draw the bow, close your eyes, hit anchor, and hold for three seconds at anchor, open your eyes, and get on your target and shoot. And, and what that does for me is, is uh, well, first of all, I, I shot instinctive for a lot of years. And I, I did pretty good, but when I miss, I miss bad. And, and it really took my confidence sometimes. I wouldn't have confidence. And so I learned to uh, shoot split vision. So I had a reference to look at. And I would hit anchor, and before I had target panic, I, panic, I would hit anchor and would see in my peripheral vision my arrow in relation to the point I wanted to hit. And it gave me confidence knowing I was, I was on. And so I've even uh, worked at that even more, and I guess sort of developed, I guess split vision and gap shooting is about the same. And uh, But when the target panic got me, I lost all that, and I was one heck of a shot. And I lost that but simply because I couldn't hit anchor and hit a solid anchor. And it was I was using a sighting method that wouldn't work because my rear sight wasn't set. It's like shooting your 22 with a peep side and it's, the peep stop's not bolted down and it, it bumps around every time. That's what happens if your anchor's inconsistent. You're moving your side around. Even if you shoot instinctive and don't look at anything but the spot you want to hit, you have to hit a consistent anchor because if you're up high with your anchor, you're going to shoot low. If you're down low, you're going to shoot high. And just it's no good. I watched this guy, Jeff Phillips, Instinctive Addiction. He shoots instinctive. He shoots probably quick or quicker than I do but he is a phenomenal shot and he preaches that you must hit anchor consistent anchor is key to accuracy and uh, like for me I was shooting sloppy as, as you could do but my shots my average shot was 12 yards and I was shooting them through the lungs you know but that's not good enough I, I want to be in complete control so this three second drill is helping me get there am I perfect uh, by no means no but uh, I, I draw the bow, hit anchor, close my eyes. And, and what it does, if you're focusing on what you want to hit and all that, you, you don't really feel your anchor because your mind is out there where it should be. But by doing this drill, which is a practice drill, it's not a shooting technique, it's a practice drill, you, close, you shut all this off and every bit of the focus is on knowing what anchor feels like. What, knowing what a good anchor feels like building consistency in your anchor, training your muscle memory to hold the bow back. And so when I shot my very best, I would hit anchor, bear down on my spot, and I would know that my po everything's lined up and the arrow went where I was looking more times than not. And so I, I want to get back to that. And so the only way to do it, if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over, and it's not a drill that makes you better. You just think you're going to shoot your way out of it. I'm telling you now, you're going to shoot your, shoot your way worse. You have to put in some sort of technique, a clicker, a nose to the feather type deal that you don't shoot till your nose touches it. Three second drill, a 10 second drill. I can't hold a bow back that long. But uh, anyway, I wanted to share that. And like I said, if you followed me, I did a video about this time last year where I was really struggling. I shot three or four arrows. I might shoot here, I might shoot there, I might shoot here. But they all were in a pretty good circle at 15 yards because, and I was shooting, I was bearing down on my spot. I was on, and, and I'd shoot, even if I didn't hit anchor, it was gone. I was making, you know, shooting a group like that at 15 yards. Jeff Phillips is mad if it's not a thumb, thumb size group at 15 yards. So, uh, don't think you're just going to shoot your way out of it. All you do, you shoot and it'll get worse. So get you a drill like this maybe, this three-second drill, 
And another thing I added to this drill, once I began to open my eyes, my bows, I set my bows with a high knock and the way my anchor is, my, my point on or just below, it is right at 15 yards, eight, 15 from say 12 to 20 yards. If I put my point right there in his lungs, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna hit there. So doing this three second drill, I'll draw the bow and to keep me from shooting fast, I use sort of a Jason Sam Kowiak technique. He draws the bow low when, it, when he was dealing with target panic. He would draw the bow low, hit solid anchor, and then come up on his target. I don't, I, I've done that and do pretty decent shooting instinctive, but there again, I don't have the consistency shooting instinctive that I like. And so if I try to aim, I, I can't do it. It's a form of target panic. When I shot a compound a few years, if I ever let my sight pin get below the target, I couldn't bring it up. I might as well let down. So what I do is I, I do this, I practice this three second drill, but I bring my point over a little, I don't mean like this. I mean, I bring my point at the top of the tin ring if I want to hit it in the center and then I, I'm at solid anchor and then I drop down a little bit and then pull through the shot or that's maybe somewhat a dead release but no collapsing so that's uh I'll, I'll do it one time right here I'm shooting myself bow right here I'm committed to this bow until we make some meat and probably then you know after that a little bit and so here we go let's shoot I got a little a heart size piece of cardboard right there we're at, at 15 steps away. But I just don't worry about where I hit anything that. I just want to show you. I want you to compare this shot to the ones I made a video called Hunting with Target Panic. Compare it to those shots and I'll assure you, you'll see a world of difference. All right, here we go. That wasn't too bad. I missed my little heart-sized cardboard piece about that much. I shot that much high. And uh, I don't know what my shot looked like because I ain't looked at it. <laughs> but I do know I hit solid anchor for a second and shot. And that's what I'm after. And uh, if you compare that to my target panic video, you'll see a world of difference. And that didn't happen from just keep shooting and shooting and shooting. That happened from trying to... Uh, listen to these guys who've been through this and who are now excellent shots trying to build from their experience and it don't matter how old you are how long you've been doing this you can always learn something so uh, I can tell that my shot is improving and I do this drill every time I come out here to shoot I do this drill my first shot of the day is a hunting shot and I try to I mean I don't do the drive I try to make a good solid hunting shot but the rest uh, I practice I do that at least 25, 30 times. And then I, I'll, I mean, it's actually, I got where I can close my eyes, hit anchor, open my eyes and hold, get on my spot and aim and shoot and the air is right there. I shot that shot a little bit fast right there. But uh, I hope this helps somebody. I know I've seen a lot of people shoot. They struggle with target panic. And I'm not taking anything away from instinctive shooters. There are guys who are deadly with it, and if it works for you, keep on slinging. Because I'm telling you, I used to be really deadly like that. But I got in a slump, and I needed help. I needed a reference for aiming. And so I built one. And there for probably about a five, six-year period, I was one deadly joker with a bow. I mean, I could shoot long shots. It, it don't matter. I, I did very seldom did I miss one. So, uh, And I don't miss a lot of deer now. I panicked on a six-point and missed him this year but uh lost complete control if i had did this drill on the shot and actually closed my eyes and opened them i'd have, I'd have killed that six point so anyway i hope this helps somebody y'all keep the good lord first it's still hunting season now uh, my work's picked up a little bit so i'm uh, not hunting as much got to work some extra days along and along and uh i'll fist do uh you know we've only only taken two deer and one pig this year it's really slim pickings but maybe we'll we'll pick it up and uh, put some meat in the freezer. I'm quite sure we'll be after them regardless, Lord willing. Keep the good Lord first and see y'all next time.